one. Good morning, friends, followers, subscribers. Trevor Ice, but mainly good morning to you, the subscribers, because without you, the channel wouldn't grow. And it continues to grow. So thank you very much. But if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free! Right. Wednesday today. Yes, it is. Handover takeover today in the Colt household. My son has went to school with his mum and he'll come home to spend time with his dad. And I do believe my dog is due here any moment. So I may have to stop the video if the door bangs. No, I won't. I've left it unlocked, but the dog will run and jump on top of me. Of course he will. Right, people. So what an interesting last 24 hours. Yes. Woke up this morning to a fantastic email. Yes, I had an email from the body language guy. This is Enrique Rosa. Yes, he sent me a lovely email. Thank you very much, Jesus. Congratulating me on getting 100,000 and 150,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, my friend. I do appreciate it. Yes, yes. I learned, I've actually learned a little bit from you as well, how you come across. So I, uh, I listen to all these different people. I get advice. Yes. Very surprising. But not unexpected because we are heading towards space. We're leaving Earth because Earth is full of lunatics. I think aliens might be more impressive to get involved with. Anyway, it's only, I think it's two weeks away. In two weeks time, we are going to be given a Netflix series about the Beckhams. Yeah, a bit like At Home with the Beckhams. It's going to happen. And you know what, people? I predict now that it's going to be very, very, very successful. And the reason being is they aren't victims. They get on with their life. They have achieved success and they are doing quite well. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how, how the family works. And they will become even more richer than they are. And the public will love them because they're not victims. Yes. I did hear a little rumor before I did this little video this morning. I get messages come in from all over the place that allegedly another couple wanted to be like cameo roles in someone else's show. <laughs> yeah, and the answer is uh, no, uh, disappear. We don't need you. You'll only drag the ratings through the gutter if you come over to us. So that's great news. Yes. Congratulations to everyone who has finished the Three Picks Challenge in the aids of different charities. So well done to them. Yes. Something I would have done many years ago, but not now. Not now. Yes. Interesting day. And yesterday I went and had lunch with another YouTuber, Jenna. I did indeed. Yeah. We had a lovely lunch. We went to Mizzou, went to there. We had a nice meal. And then we just went for a walk and just had a chat. And then we went for a coffee, actually. We went into a place called the Battle Boom Bar in Ipswich, where you can pay money in and you can do crazy golf and play different games and basketball. You can throw axes. But yes. Let's not throw axes. Gemma would have hit me with an axe, if I'm honest. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, she would have killed me. Met Trevor today. Yep, he's now in any Or life support. So we cancelled that, but uh, I do appreciate it. It was a great day out. Gemma's a great person. Yes, obviously Gwen was with us. Yeah, she's my, like, chaperone. She's my, like, nurse, my curer. <laughs> but it wasn't a bad day. Anyway... We live in a world where everyone wants equality, don't we? Everyone wants equality, diversity, inclusive. It, it must be inclusive. But why? Why? Uh, can I uh, throw the axe? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can throw the axe. Why can't I throw the axe? Well, you've only got one arm, sir. Yeah, but I can still throw it with one arm. Yeah, but it, it's... No. I'm claiming that's, that's the society we live in. Anyway, listen. In a world of equality... Something has stood out this morning, which doesn't seem right. Now, we know that men, that men that groom women or groom girls, let's call them, should go to jail. They're disgusting, vile individuals. But it's weird when it's on the other foot. Listen to this. A 27-year-old dental receptionist. I don't know why they brought that in. Dental receptionist. Doesn't care what her job is. Anyway, she went for a night out and she got pissed. In Cheshire. Got pissed. On the way home... She decided to cut through a park and she met two teenage boys sitting on a bench. One of them was 13 and she sat down beside him and she started chatting to them. She was pissed, chatting away to him. 
and he was telling her that, that he's only 13, he's 14, he's telling about his birthday. She started groping his genitals, yes. She sexually assaulted the young boy, but she got away with it. She got away with it because she says, listen, I was drunk. Oh, so you weren't aware of what you were doing? No, it was the white wine. It was the white wine that did it. Oh, okay then, um, dismissed. Why? She didn't know what she was doing. Let's hope men at 27 don't use that as an excuse when they try and groom young girls in parks and get caught by the police. Yeah? Yeah? You can't blame your actions on alcohol. You can't do it. You can't use that as an excuse these days. It's wrong. Uh, anyway, in a time of a pandemic, in a pandemic, let's call it, the pandemic, which some people knew, some people didn't. Anyway, during the, the pandemic days, check this here out. The federal government in the US, check this out. Whenever there was a pandemic and all the workers were sent home, you, you, we're working from home. We don't want to spread this, we're working from home. So while the workers are working from home, the bosses of the federal government spent this amount of money. Check this, please check this. They spent $3.3 billion on office furniture. Not just any office furniture, Gucci office furniture, leather recliners at $120,000 each. Imagine spending, right? Imagine spending money, right? And I don't understand where they got them. $250,000 on solar panel picnic benches for outside the office. Imagine being able to screw the American taxpayer over that much. Shocking, shocking. They should be in jail. They should be in jail, those people. Wow. People in America, a lot of people in America are struggling. So, if you're struggling, what you want to do is you want to break in, in and around the federal government and stay at a picnic bench. Sell it on eBay. Make sure you scrape off the serial numbers. Shocking, isn't it? Wow. It is what it is. And I'm quite surprised to see all these all these models and, and, and celebrities come out and going, oh my God, look at Pamela Anderson. Isn't she stunning? She turned up at Paris Fashion Week and she didn't even wear makeup. She was looking like Pamela Am Yes, she was. How's that, how's that a big thing these days? It, I mean, it, it just shows you where society's gone when women are praising each other for not wearing makeup. It just shows you where society has gone wrong. It was also the first weekend of Pamela Anderson's life where she never pulled the bloke. Is that a coincidence? Not too sure. And right now, the Conservative Party conference is in full swing. It's in full swing with members coming out. Rishi Sunak standing by his pledges. Probably the same pledges made by Amber Heard, may I add. We will do this and we will do that. Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, being classed as, as a neo-Nazi for standing up for Britain. That's when you know Britain's in this shit. When you're, whenever you're called out and lambasted for standing up for your nation and you're ridiculed for it. And if the media are ridiculing you for this, then you know the media have lost the battle. Yes. Shocking, but true, but true. Well, people, it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm sure somebody's want to watch my video before you go to work. So I'm now going to go. I'm going to relax. Going to make sure I get my coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet. My Soldier On Coffee from Soldier On Coffee Company. I'll be having a cup of that and I will be relaxing. Got to make a few calls today. Looking forward to getting my son in. Looking forward to getting my dog in. Yes. And thank you to those of you that do support my channel through PayPal. I do believe 2024 will be a fresh year for me on this channel. I hopefully will be getting the channel fixed completely. And we will be able to move forward in style and do a lot more things. But thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Have a great day, everyone.